Jalapeno poppers are a traditional appetizer, but I'm putting a sweet and smoky spin on this classic, and it doesn't involve a deep fryer. So what you're going to need is six jalapenos. I've already went ahead and cut them lengthwise and then de-seeded them and got the ribs out. That's how you make it not as spicy. And make sure you get those ribs, which are like the thin, fibrous pieces on the inside. You're also going to need half a carton of cream, cream cheese, which is about four ounces, and then two tablespoons of shredded cheddar cheese. Now that cream cheese needs to be softened. That way you can go ahead and mix those together. You're also going to need six strips of bacon, Make sure it's the thinner kind. That's the way it will be able to cook up more. And you're also going to need some brown sugar and a little bit of chili powder. So what I've done first, like I said, I've already cleaned these out. So I'm going to go ahead and fill one with the cheese. You'll know how much is enough. It will fill up the cavity of the jalapeno. Now my plastic spoon here isn't the best method to do this. I recommend a metal spoon, which is also a good way to get rid of those seeds and ribs as well. You can just kind of dig it out. So we've got this. It's nice and full. While we have that chill in there, you're going to want to take your bacon and you're going to want to cut it lengthwise as well. Now this is not the easiest thing to do, so a nice tip is put the bacon in the freezer for about 10 minutes. That way it's a little bit easier to cut. Now I'm going to have to put my bacon right there for a second because I don't have enough room. So like I said, it's lengthwise, so it's really not the easiest thing to do, but you can do it. I promise it's possible. Okay, almost there. You might have to pull it apart just a little bit. We lost a little there. That's okay, no big deal. Okay. Then you're going to wrap your jalapeno popper with the bacon, like a mummy. And once you have that done, you roll it in the cinnamon and sugar and chili powder. And it's just a quarter cup of brown sugar and then about a tablespoon of the chili powder and it'll stick nice on top like that. And that sugar will help caramelize it and give a little bit of a sweeter flavor to it. And the bacon adds that smoke as well as the chili powder. Now I've gave Joe a piece already that I cooked up yesterday. I'm going to continue to cut bacon while you try that out. How is it? So what's the preferred way to do this? Just shove it in your mouth. The whole thing? The whole thing. No way. No what? way. If it's spicy, uh-uh. It's gonna, not spicy. I promise you, it's not. I'm going to try to... Oh, I made a mess. Uh, of course you did. Hang on, hang on. We got time. I gave you a fork this time, at least. We got least. time. We got time. Hold up. I'm working on it. Tell you what, it smells good. It's delicious. This is a... This is a disaster. <laughs> Just put it in your mouth. I can't because it's... There we go. All right, here we go. Try half of it. Okay. Wow. That's an explosion. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of different flavors for you. I like it. You yeah. know what? Hold up. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to enjoy the rest of it, too. Let's go. There it is. The plate is clean. Good. Glad to hear it. So, again, just throw them in the oven for at 350 for about 20 minutes or until the bacon is crisp. It really depends on your oven. Uh, for mine, it took probably about closer to 40 minutes. So, just really watch it. Start at 30 and then keep watching it in about five minute increments. I'll be sure to put this recipe up on our website, wayne.com, where you can possibly try it out yourselves.